Hey all, welcome to Vira Kocha's Secret Pathway. So in the previous quest, we were trying to destroy some giants, stone giants, on the orders of Vira Kocha. But Zamna interrupted us, saying Vira Kocha is one of the evil gods. So now we are going to follow Vira Kocha just to see if he leads us to the part of the secret calendar which he has probably stolen so let's see where he leads us we are not confronting him we are simply following him secretly so this location i think is mostly going to be digging tiles trying to follow him The location is 989 tiles long and will cost around 2.7 million energy. That's all we can enter. Let's see where it leads us. Okay, so it does look like something more than simply digging. We have two marks here which would mean a puzzle kind of thing. Since we can do nothing let's try placing it on one of those. I don't know which exactly would be the right one. Uh, I don't see any hands outside either. Mm, no, so let us go back inside and just place it on any of them. Okay, so placing it had moved once so on. Maybe placing it on the other mark will move the other stone. And I think we need to move both of them. Because up ahead I can see a stone which needs to be pulled from one side and then entered from the other side. So we can pull from here, can't get any further. So we will leave it here and go from the other side. Changing the position of the stone, the other statue will move and we can continue from here. following him 5 out of 17 so quite some time more it's 989 tiles after all it's going to be long 6 out of 17 I think we are moving pretty fast compared to the number of tiles maybe there is something more than following in the end we'll find out for now just continue following So he's like moving stones, going ahead and placing the stones back, large ones. And he can't do that. Mm, he has blocked the path, but there is a hole here. Uh, looks fun. There are pit puzzles, rotatable stones, regular stones and whatnot. So let's see what exactly we have to do. We can start by filling in the pits. Although I see only a star here, no circle. There goes the star, now time for the circle, it's up there. I'm not sure if we will be able to track it. Uh, yes, we can go from the up and push it down. That fills the pits. 
I don't know why we did that, but yes, there surely will be a reason, which we will probably find out later. Here are solutions to two of the rotating stones. White is bottom right and orange is... But I don't know where to place that. There are other solutions as well, top right orange and up white. Perhaps it, be, it is based on the uh, stone's head, the type of the head right next to the solutions. Okay, here we have to place them. There are two kinds of heads, two kinds of solutions. So this kind of head, bottom right white and orange is bottom. So upper one, orange is on the right, bottom. and a quarter that is bottom right or bottom left and this one is right here upper right yeah and the upper right is indeed bottom right so we got to change that Not sure what that mark was for because it has simply moved that stone from here and there that still does not signify anything just have to change this to bottom right and we can continue Virakocha is still nowhere, he is out there somewhere. We are still trying to exit this hole and follow him. Some more rotating stone puzzles. That's the stone which we can place on the marks maybe. It has moved one of the statues on the right side. The other position of that stone, it probably leads to the treasure part on the left. We will get there. Well, let's continue since we are here. We will do the feather part later. Okay, some solutions here. We have to drag those orange stones on the marks and uh, based on the white one next to it that would probably be where the orange ones will go like the bottom right white 
it has a half orange that faces left the top white it has an orange that faces bottom left similarly we can do for the rest we still have missed some tiles we need to reveal them to find out some other solutions maybe top half is bottom left this here was one of the solutions bottom right is stop right orange so not all the solutions are here itself some of them were outside not some just one tiles here then we can continue There's Viracocha, our chase continues. That was quite some break in the between because of all those puzzles and underground things. So let's see how far we can chase him until we have another hole. I was thinking we are going pretty fast based on the speed we were following him. But the holes, they indeed slowed us down. And I think we will be chasing him for the rest of this location. Nothing else would be at the end. I guess let's see what these actual things. I need to push this further. Pull this all the way back and then go around and continue. This one, one top would be enough. That's 10 out of 17, still quite some journey. 11 out of 17 and he has escaped. So we also have to take the northern exit. Let's go. That's another hole and I don't know why because there was an exit on the north. So this is probably just a hole for fun. Yes, like I had guessed, this is a hole for fun. But it was not fun, there were some tiles to dig and nothing really significant at the end. They could have put in some ruby or topaz or something like that 
Anyway, there wish we can now continue northward. Twelve out of seventeen. And we have some holes there. The hole is the only way to go further. So let's see what interesting things we have in here. Now 17 we are almost there the tiles however say otherwise almost one third of the tiles are still left so even though we just have to follow him once this cave it might just stay forever okay it did not take forever there's the exit Kocha went this time. We still have a significant amount of tiles, so there is still a chance that there would be something more than just chasing. That is, if the chase ends here, which does not look like the case for me, Viracocha is still nowhere near. Okay, there is Viracocha. He is escaping but that did not count as one of the escapes. We are still on 16 out of 17. Don't forget to pull that upper stone because you will need to do that in order to get ahead from this side. Okay, the chase has completed. 17 out of 17. Mm, but what's next? Maybe we have to talk to somebody. There's Virakocha, ready to talk. That completes the quest. So that's all we had to do in this location. Wow. So Virakocha has actually accepted that he is the one who attacked Zamna and stole the calendar. That's not good. And he has also set some village on fire. We got to save the village but that is for the next location. For now we are going back to get the feather part. I was counting the tiles thinking that we had done everything behind. That was not the case, we had left out the feather part. So there would be the remaining tiles. Chase was all we had to do in this location. And with some puzzles in between, it was not a boring chase. Missed a chest here. And I guess now we can continue backwards. Hello. 
we left it quite behind. Maybe we should have done it when we were there. Mm, not even here, maybe this hole. No, it was not that hole. That hole was just something extra one, which had basically nothing. So further back, we need to shift the stones again. This one is probably it. That was quite a long journey. Further back, one more level I think. And here should be the feather part if I remember. Mm, yes, we are at the right place. Just need to change the position of this stone and the statue near the treasure uh, feather part will move. Okay, so let's see what the feather part has for us apart from the really high cost tiles. To me this looks like simple digging, there are some levers at the end of these and there would be four sides, four levers, just pull each one of them and we will get the feather part. So not something I like but that's okay and also there is a real high cost so digging the tiles makes it even more boring. You only get to play a few minutes and then just wait for it to refill. So open one of the gates, let's continue left. Second gate, pretty boring I know but the feather parts are really worth it to do because they really give some good equipment that will last you for quite some long time even in the next region. So just don't play much for a day or two or if you have saved energy simply eat up it, eat up the food and get this part done. There is the third one, one last to go. I seem to have run out of speed potion, but the high cost just does not make me feel like eating one. And 
and there we go the last lever was easily accessible from this side so all these tiles you can simply skip I am just digging them for digging purposes like I always do all the tiles otherwise I would never dig all these high cost tiles they are totally not worth it unless you really really want to complete the entire location Let's go back and get that feather part. And here we are, that will be the end of this. So thank you for watching, see you in the next location.